Hello children, welcome to the year 3 science. Welcome to the lesson absorption. This lesson has been designed for a 30 minutes lesson period. This lesson comprises of five segments. Looking around us. Our science lab. Mr. SPI will tell you about. Song. And what have we learned today? This video is designed with fun with science in mind. You will have a fun time watching the segment and enhancing your knowledge on the concepts you have learnt in school. In segment Looking Around Us, we will learn Some materials absorb water Uses of materials that absorb water In segment Our Science Lab, we will carry out an experiment on Materials that absorb and does not absorb water. Group the materials. In segment Mr. SPI will tell you about, we will learn that Different materials have different abilities to absorbing water. In segment Songs, we will have a fun time singing a song about absorption. In segment What Have We Learned Today, we will see the important points from these lessons. Hello everybody! My name is Mr. SPI. S for science, P for private, and I for investigator. Today, I am your host. Whoa! Welcome to the Science Zone. From here, I will take you to explore the world of science. Today, our mission is to learn about absorption. When we are wet, we use a towel to dry ourselves. A towel is made of material that can take in water easily. That's why we become dry very quickly. Do you know of other things that are made from materials that can absorb water? Here are a few of them. We use a towel to wipe our sweat. This mop is made from material that can absorb water.
It is used to dry up wet surfaces. We are lucky because there are so many materials around us that absorb water. Otherwise, things that are wet will need a very long time to dry. We use many kinds of material every day. We use things that are made from wood, from metals, from plastic, from cloth, from paper, and from glass. Which of these material can absorb water? And which of these materials do not absorb water? When we are wet, we use a towel to dry ourselves. A towel is made of material that can take in water easily. That's why we become dry very quickly. We use a tissue to wipe our sweat. This mop is made from material that can absorb water. It is used to dry up wet surfaces. We are lucky because there are so many materials around us that absorb water. Otherwise, things that are wet will need a very long time to dry. We use many kinds of material every day. We use things that are made from wood, from metals, from plastic, from cloth, from paper and from glass. Cannot. Cannot. Ah! Ha! Ah, this one can absorb. Hello, friends. Today we are going to learn more about absorption. Every day we use many things that are made of different materials. Some of these materials can absorb water and some cannot. So, which material do you think will absorb water? This one? This one? Or oh, this one? Let's carry out an experiment. Look at the water in the glass. Now, I put a piece of sponge into the glass and then remove it. Aha! You will see that the water in the glass has become less. That's because the water has been absorbed by the sponge. Let's try the same experiment with other materials. Cotton. Yeah. Cloth. Yes.
newspaper about silat. Yeah. Plastic ruler. Aha! The amount of water does not change. Let's try it again. Yes, the amount of water does not change. A coin. No. An eraser. Mm, no. A pebble. No. A nail. No. So, from this, we can say that material such as cotton, cloth, and paper absorb or take in water. They are called absorbent materials. And materials such as metal, plastic, and stone cannot absorb water. They are called non-absorbent materials. Let's group these materials. Materials which can absorb water, sponge, cotton, cloth, newspaper. Materials which cannot absorb water, plastic, metal, rubber, stone. Mr. SPI is very good at science. Now, he will tell you more about absorption. All yours, Mr. SPI. I have a few things to show you. Do you know what this is? Good, it is a beaker. And this one? Yes, it is a sponge. And what about these? Yes, a piece of cloth and a newspaper. Our mission today is to see how good they are at absorbing water. These three beakers are filled with the same amount of water. Label the beakers with the names of the material that we want to test. Then mark the water level in each beaker with a marker pen, a sponge, a piece of cloth and a piece of newspaper are put separately into each beaker. Then take them out from the beakers after one minute. Look. There is a new water level in each beaker. Mark the new water level with your marker pen. Measure the distance between the two marks with a ruler. And write down the results. From the experiment, you can see that the sponge absorbs the most water compared to the piece of cloth and the newspaper. Simple, isn't it? So, go and carry out this experiment on other materials, okay? Tower 
on some water It has disappeared That's absorption Spawn absorbs well Tissue pepper too A mob is useful When the floor is wet Absorption is useful If not Think of these Imagine you are sweating And cannot remove it Imagine you are sweating And cannot remove it Sponge absorbs well Tissue paper too A mop is useful When the floor is wet In this lesson, you have learned about absorption. We learned objects that can clear water absorb water. The materials that absorb water are useful in our daily life. These are objects that absorb water. A mop is used to wipe the floor. A mop is made of material that absorb water. We use the cotton cloth to wipe up a spilled drink. The cotton cloth absorb water. It wiped the table dry. A towel is used to wipe off the sweat. The towel absorbed sweat. We also can use a sponge to wash the car. Materials that absorb water helps us to do our work faster and easier. In the segment Our Science Lab, Ibrahim have shown you that some objects absorb water and some objects do not absorb. Objects that are made of cotton, cloth and paper absorb the water. Objects that absorb water are called absorbent materials. Objects that are made of metal, plastic and stone cannot absorb water. Objects that do not absorb water are called non-absorbent materials. We have learned that different materials absorb different amounts of water. Some materials absorb more water than others. To carry out the fair test, we need to decide on what to keep the same. What to change? What to measure? In the test, we use materials that absorb water, some beakers and water. We used different type of materials. We used a cotton cloth, a newspaper and a sponge. This is what we change. We also decided what to keep the same. We kept the size of the materials the same. We also kept the level of water. We measure the level of water absorbed by each type of materials from the beaker. This is what we measure. Then we recorded what we measure in a table. That's all for today. I hope you will remember what you learned from Ibrahim and me at the Science Zone. Goodbye.